Hey everyone, this is Eric. I recently got a Dell XPS 15 9570 laptop and for the most part it's been great. I've had a couple issues with it and one of the bigger ones is the lack of a working sleep state. So when you suspend the laptop, close the lid, try to do it manually, going to uh, suspend, or if your power settings are set to go to sleep after a certain amount of time, the system really wouldn't do that. It would just stay running. This was really bugging me because obviously you want a laptop that when you shut the lid, it's gonna go to sleep and then you can open the lid when you're ready and it just comes back to where you were. Otherwise it's, you know, you're shutting down. And that's what I ended up finding myself doing. And I was really disappointed and ready to send this back when finally I was able to find a solution. So on the Arch Wiki, there's an article about this particular laptop and it lists a bunch of the components and what works, what doesn't, how to make changes if it's not working properly. One of the first things they list here is power management and suspend by, by default, this uh, inefficient S2 idle suspend variant is selected. I really don't know much about this S2 idle variant other than to tell you that it doesn't work. I'm running Kubuntu 18.10 at the moment and I've tried a bunch of different distributions and uh, have found that this is the default on all of them. And so this is the Arch Wiki, obviously, and I've run Arch Base like Manjaro and things like that, and, and this applied there, but again, here in Kubuntu, as well as the other Ubuntu variants that I've tried, this is the same problem. So these instructions on this page describe how to check to see if this is the problem how to change it on a running system, link you to the ability to set this as a kernel parameter that you can set at boot time so that it will always be in this deep sleep state instead of S2 idle. So following along with this, if you were to check this syspower mem sleep option with cat, in my case, it's already set to deep because I've made this change, but what it, you would normally see is the S2 idle would be in brackets. And so again, for a running system, you could do echo uh, this command here and then that would change it to deep which is what you're seeing here and that's fine except that the next time you reboot it's going to revert back to the s2 idle so you want to make a change to the kernel parameters or pass this as a kernel parameter at boot time and so how you're going to do that is to set a kernel parameter at boot in grub so if you go into the default or etsy default grub file and look at the grub command line linux you'll see that it says quiet and splash by default at least for kubuntu and what you want to do is add the command that's listed on this page here so mem sleep default equals deep so i'm going to say mem sleep default equals deep and so now what this will do is the next time well actually i gotta finish doing this first and then run grub make config so this command here i'm just going to copy and paste and so what will happen now is that it's replacing the grub entry and the next time i boot it will be set to deep and the system will sleep the way it's supposed to goes into a deep sleep, fans are off, all of that good stuff. So I assume that because I was having this issue that others would be as well. Uh, it took me quite a while to find this article and again to the point where I was ready to almost return the system. So hopefully someone out there finds this useful in diagnosing the issue and correcting it on their system and can enjoy using what is otherwise a very nice laptop. If there's any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them below and I'll do my best to help you. But otherwise, I will see you next time.